Hello fish lovers, welcome to Sax Tanks, crazy aquarium guy, just doing a little bloodworm feeding to my guppies, rainbows, fahaka puffer and fire eel, but the fire eel I fed this morning with earthworms, live earthworms, that's his favorite, he eats them like crazy and sometimes he eats uh, boiled uh, clams without the shell of course but earthworms is the way to go with your fire reel just wanted to shoot this picture because this picture this video because I added the Arcadia 47 watt LED light I don't know if you can see the difference but I didn't take away the tubes the T8 tubes I just put added on the see over there one two three four and in the middle here we have the Arcadia it's super crazy hot now because of these TA tubes so hope it doesn't break because in the instructions they say try to keep it cool and this was like 50 degrees Celsius no I'm not gonna translate to Fahrenheit as well it's gonna be too much <laughs> no, okay. It's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how warm the little light felt, so maybe it's gonna break. But didn't cost as much as other LED lights. I want to try it out. It's strong, it's decent, it's okay, but it's not something mind blowing. So, a couple of days ago, I ordered the Fluel Fresh and Plant LED light, the new one supposed to be great and the turtle tank is actually gonna get that one and I talked to my local aquarium guy today and he suggested he will come by with my turtle tank next uh, Thursday if the guy in north of Sweden have did it already he didn't ask him yet so we'll see but that's pretty fast so uh, yeah so I think I'm gonna add the fluel lead light to the turtle tank, but seems like kind of a waste because I can't have a, as much plant as I plants as I have in the other tank. So maybe, maybe not. But I'm gonna have the big Anubias I bought, like I showed you in the last videos, and I think I'm gonna have some water plague, uh, Styria densa, in Latin. So. It's gonna be a really good visual and you can dim the light so it's gonna be good but kind of luxury for turtles of course I'm gonna have these exoterra domes I bought you two new ones bigger I'm gonna have two big ones here with UVB and UVA and one over here over the cork bark basket spot this one I don't know I'm gonna add to some other aquarium, maybe to light some of these above some other aquarium. These are great, by the way. If you want to sheet with the clean water, do this. It gets a lot simpler. And yeah, so these three, two new big ones, and this one over here with the heat lamp, but a ceramic one, and the fluid LED over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tank because it has a lead light that's fitting and it's pretty big surface area but it's not so it's pretty shallow so I think I'm gonna do a sea dweller no shell dweller <laughs> sorry about that shell dweller African cyclo tank put it right here move this couch and put it right here in the middle with the shell dwellers so we'll see I'm gonna show you something else I did. I have a really strong filter in here. So I put the tiger barbs with the Amazon puffers. Much more the same <laughs> energy, so. And the two Bolivian cichlids is on the bottom as well. This is probably my cleanest tank because I have 
like 800 gallons of power to oh what is this tank that's like uh, 80 gallons is it 80 gallons? Yeah, pretty much 80 gallons and uh, so it's really clean but too much power and stream for the discus they, not really, they were never really happy in here so I changed them to my planted tank over here yesterday night actually so they only have been here for like 12 hours so bear with me of course they're stressed right now and just a minute ago I opened the tank and moved the plant and they were terrified so they have not colored out yet but also going to change to a jewel LED light, the new LED light to come this year, and it has a lot of blue in it. You can see the cardinals, always beautiful. But the discus is going to be more beautiful with the LED light also. So this is going to be my discus tank and cardinals instead. Oh, there you have the male killifish. It's supposed to live a half to one year. But I had this guy for two years now, he's still going strong, so don't believe the pet shop. <laughs> ah, quick shot of that tank. This plant above is growing like crazy. Change the LED lights a little bit more. It was like this before. I'll change it like that. Look at the water roots on this one. Starting to grow underneath to get to this light as well. This is great, guys. If you're gonna have goldfish and you wanna feed them like I do, like that amount of day, I had to have this and of course change, still change a lot of water, but if you do this, the water is not gonna be toxic, but dirty, but not toxic. So add this plant. So that was all I had today. I actually was in town for dinner now, but come home, thought I would update some aquariums and stay tuned for more updates. Have a good day.